So we're back here with Sharon. Hey. How you doing? I'm well in yourself. Good. A lot of people was complimenting on live because they can see your hair poking out. Got your hair done. Got a little bit of makeup on. I see. Look beautiful. Thank How was your Thanksgiving? It was nice. I got to spend it with my family. Nice. I cooked, of course. They always set me up to do it. The whole set. Oh yeah, that's right. Because you said you like to cook, right? I love to cook. So what did you do actual for Thanksgiving? Uh, well, instead of a turkey, I did a ham. Okay. I did cornbread stuffing. I did, of course, cranberry sauce. I made cucumber salad, carrot salad, regular salad, mashed potatoes, corn, um, homemade gravy, apple pie, pumpkin pie, and sweet chicken pie. And where'd you spend that at? Uh, my sister Ashley's house. I love you. Thank you for having me. Dope. And uh, kids were there? Yes. Kids, grandkids, uh, people were FaceTiming us. I was getting a lot of, um, you know, from my social media, everybody wishing me happy Thanksgiving, that they're still rooting for me. Nice, absolutely. I do get some condescending uh, comments, but you know what? I don't let that knock me off my square. Yeah. I'm still who I am. And we're, we're always gonna get that. I don't think there's anybody in this world that isn't gonna get that. And especially when we're, when we're, in our addiction or in the public eye, you know, we're going to have a little more of that than others. Now, I was just explaining the barn a little while ago. I can get 30 hours plus. One second. We got to hold on because the L passes. Like I was saying, I was telling barn, I can get 30 plus hours in myself. Uh -huh. Once the pain starts to get too bad, I can't do it by myself. Yeah. And a lot of people don't realize just how hard it is to get fucking 10 hours, you know, let alone... 30 plus yeah that's 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 a lot oh and like people were saying i was living it up in new york no i was working in new york that's what i was doing not living it up and it was the first time i had a chance to go to the city so i went uh -huh. so the, everybody's like oh, i know what she's doing i know what she's no you don't know what i was doing you're not in my mind you're not in my body or my soul so no you don't know what i was doing or what i was trying to uh -huh. do so I mean, I mean, I just want to clarify some things. Like I'm still human. I still make mistakes. I as fall we all short. do. I right? fall short. Yeah. But I'm as, still me. As we all do. Yes. And uh, you, you've been staying with your sister. Yes. Yes. Good. Um, How's that going? Be, it's going good. Uh, she's going to be leaving in a couple of weeks, but she said I can stay there until she leaves. Okay. And um, we have been looking into like recovery houses and stuff like that, but um, uh -huh. I'm going to Act One on Monday, Methadone Maintenance Program. Okay. So um, you don't get medicated the first day, but every, everything's the process. It'll probably take two days before I'll get medicated, but that's where I'm heading right now. So what exactly, they, can, you, can you explain that process? Like from the time you go check in? Well, when you go, you, Act One is on Broad Street, first of all. Um, you go there, you give your ID, um, uh, they um, they assess you to see how bad everything really is, to okay. see what your use is. Um, then you talk to a doctor, you get a counselor, you start your groups, they start medicating you, they get you on a comfortable dose to, so you don't feel as bad. Okay. Now, I'm not gonna feel 100% or up to par. So they do that within how long after you get there? You said the next day they'll uh, start probably, medicating? Probably 48 hours. Okay, cool. Yeah, so by Wednesday, I should be medicated. Nice. Yeah. And then they provide counseling and stuff also? Everything. And then I can go to mental health, which I picked the wedge. That's where I'm going to go. I'm going to okay. start my mental health again. I'm going to start getting everything back on track. Like, I mean, even if it's just baby steps right now. You got to crawl before you walk, and that's Yeah, that's absolutely. And a lot of times, so many times I tell people um, that we can't expect to dig ourselves out of a hole that we took months and years to get in. Now, some... Somebody said something to me, and it really, it really made sense to me. Like, I still have 13 years of recovery. Yeah. I had a fall. Yeah. I'm not on the ground completely down. I can get back up, dust myself off, and keep going. Yeah. So, and that's, that's, this is all my choice. This is all my doing, so I got to get myself out of this. Nobody else. I can ask for all the help in the world, but Absolutely. it's me to do it. Absolutely. What's been the highlight of your last couple weeks? My baby grandkids my kids yeah they they put so much love and warmth in my heart being on the street again being out here today just you know puts damper on a lot of things but yeah knowing i have them i'm warm you know and yeah. uh, and they're, they're giving me that chance like my anastasia was so comfortable to sleep and knowing that mommy had milani you know awesome. i got up made her breakfast we ate lunch together we played 
she got so used to me all over again, and I, I totally fell in love all over again. And it's awesome with our kids and our grandkids. They don't judge us. They just want us to be there. Yeah, and the smiles alone. And the yeah, giggles, yeah. the laughs. You, you take that forever with you. I would take that forever of being sick. Listen, I remember my son, when he woke up this morning and he seen me, he was like, Dad, you know, he was just happy that I was there. Yeah, it's the best That's feeling it. in the world. Yeah, it, it is. It definitely is a good feeling. Because yeah. if you don't notice, I mean, I do talk a lot about my kids and my grandkids. Yeah. Because they are the highlight of my life. I yeah. made them beautiful children. And yep. then my children made their beautiful children, and it's just going generation after generation. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So, what are your hopes moving forward? Methadone? Methadone. Methadone clinic, right? Yes. That's the first step? Um, try and recovery house. Okay. I'm going to talk to the counselor about that. Getting my foot in the door as far as getting complete housing for myself and where I can stand up on my own two feet again and do it all by myself without the help of nobody but, but the clinicians and the counselors and everything that's it okay and then um writing my book yes writing my book yes because yeah. a lot of people once people seen how you expressed that you like to write and you would like to write a book people were encouraging you they're like tell her to write a book yes. tell her i think that would be good and i think that would be good healing wise you Absolutely. know therapy wise because there's certain stuff we'll put on paper that maybe we don't tell people writing's like music nobody can ever take it from you yeah. It's always going to be here and here. Yeah. Especially here. Like, to me, that alone, I have so much to give to other people. Yeah. And I know I can. Like, I know what I have in me. I know the fight I have inside of me. And I know it's, I mean, it's, it's, oh, it's like, a, like, you know, the storm about, to, that's where it's at. Yeah. It's a storm. It's brewing. It's brewing. It's ready to let go. And I want to. I want to let it all go. And I want to get this book out here. And I, hopefully, I can make a change in other people's lives. Awesome. And, and I'm sure you will, because there's stuff that we all go through that other people can relate to and be like, damn, because, you know, so many times when we're going through our bullshit, we think we're the only one going through it. You know and what I mean? You know what? And there's so many others that are going through oh, it. Oh, hell right yeah. With us, if hell not yeah. worse. Yeah. Listen, when I post the videos, somebody will be like, damn, I thought I was the only one that felt like that. I thought I was the only one that thought like that. I could relate to that so much. And, uh, and it's true. We yeah. never know who we're going to affect when we share our stories, um, you know. And because there's so many people out there that that want help, but are a little scared to take that first step because it, yeah. it takes a lot, man. To it to, takes it takes too much. Like, yeah. actually, it takes a lot of energy. It takes control. I mean, sometimes you gotta let the kids and the grandkids go just to take care of yourself. Yep. You know, and you know what? Who am I if I'm not 100 percent for them? Yes. Yeah. I mean, even for myself, I got to be a hundred for myself. If I yeah. can't be for them, I can't be for nobody. Yeah, exactly. And and that's times when it's all right to be selfish. Yeah. I remember I said that it, I think it was in a live chat a couple weeks ago, where um, I said sometimes the best thing we could do as parents when we're in our addiction or when our mental health isn't the greatest uh -huh. is to take a step away from our kids Absolutely. to sort of protect them and be like, all right, I need to get my shit right. Mm -hmm. I need a timeout. I need to regroup. And uh, I need to focus on myself before we can be there as parents. And some people don't understand it. And, and I get that because everybody's not going to understand it. Somebody looking from the outside might not understand it. But those of us that struggle with addiction or struggle with mental health, we know sometimes that's the best thing we could do is, mm -hmm. is call somebody and be like, look, I need you to be a parent to my child because I can't do it right I can't now. Do it right this I can't be a parent. Doesn't mean that I'm never going to be a parent again, but right now I just can't do it. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know? And like when, um, I guess a couple weeks ago when we did an interview, when I said my son was down here, his girlfriend seen me yeah. and turn back around, they're saying, you're the mother. Uh -huh. I understand I'm the mother, but you know what? It takes both parties, Yeah. you know, to come to some kind of mutual agreement or something to pull it together. Yeah, exactly. Um, I, th I think every... Any type of relationship, whether it's with our kids, whether it's with the loved one, oh, it's a two-way street. You know, it's a, it can't be all give, 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 and it can't be all take, take, take. Right, and remember, I was just telling you and Rob, the gentleman I just met yeah. today, um, I wish somebody would come down here for 24 hours. Yeah. Live one day. I'm not saying use drugs. I want to see you make it out here on the street. Yeah. I do. Just to survive. Because you don't know what it's like out here for yeah. real. Unless you really lived it, you don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yep, it, exactly. That that's the way it is. And that's why I think it's so easy for people to judge because they don't know what it's like. 
But people that know what it's like, we know better than to judge. Absolutely. You know, I remember before I I started getting high back in the day, I would be so quick. I'd be like, dope fiends, the junkies, uh -huh. it's weakness, it's a decision. Until I found myself getting high and I was like, damn, I wish I would have never, never said, said this. That. And you wish you could take it back. And then now that I'm clean, I realize that it, it's not the case. No, it's not all it's cracked up to be either. Yep. One second. Yeah, I'm out. yeah, so I mean, but everybody, I'm gonna do this. I'm doing this for myself. I'm doing this for myself, and I'm gonna get it together. And I'll keep Frank updated. I talk to Frank randomly yep. throughout the week, asking when he's coming down, and I always make it a point to see him. Yeah, absolutely. And we're rooting for you, Sharon. Hey. We know you got it. Mm -hmm. I All do. right. I, do. I thank you. Uh huh. I and, love uh, you guys so much, and Frank, I love you and appreciate you absolutely. more than anything. Absolutely. You already know, Shad. Give me a hug, baby. Thank uh, you. <laughs> thank you. Fuck this shit. Uh. Come on. Take it easy, brother. You wanna fight? Come on. Ew. <laughs> Take it easy, y'all. <laughs> you love.